They should have won both of those games. They should be undefeated like Pitt is. We'll see how they respond. Pitt won the toss and they want the ball first. The kickoff right at the goal line. That's Kenny Johnson who's going to bring it back and he gets upended. So good special teams coverage for the Bears. Big kid, 19 years old, 6'5", 225 from the shotgun. He's going to throw middle and that pass is caught and then a broken tackle. Completely different player. I expect him to take another leap today against Cal. Third and three. First drive of the game. Handoff straight ahead and no. Wow, they gave it to Dez Reed, who's such a weapon in so many different ways. He's an easy kid to root for. You just watch his body language, how he deals with his teammates. His first throw, a long one, all the way across the field. So he's off the field for first and ten. And a little jet sweep type action. The cut up field and a pretty nice move by Mikey Matthews to get five on first down. We saw that shot of Grizel on the sideline. We'll definitely keep our eyes on him. Pitch to Thomas, and that's a nice run for Jet Thomas into pit territory across midfield. 13 yards on the ground. Yeah, listen, the offensive line, they've been nicked up all season. You've had a lot of moving pieces up there, but great start to this. They brought some pass rushers, and Mendoza fires a beautiful ball, complete for a first down to Jonathan Brady. The Panthers elect to bring pressure on third and extremely long. Well, that voids Mendoza making the defense pay. They get to the line relatively quickly. Thomas gets a carry inside the 30. And that's the challenge we've been talking about for Cal. How do you respond after all those emotions? Now a little pitch back play, but Pitt defends that well. Josiah Martin, the freshman wide receiver, on the Pitt D-line. Man in motion, Mendoza looked right, throws left, Brady cuts it upfield, and he'll get the first down. That's huge. Cal really struggled on third down a week ago, going just two for ten against the Miami Hurricanes. Now Thomas gets the ball, left side run, big hole, there goes Thomas, touchdown Cal! 21 yards! And the first score of the game for the Golden Bears. The touchdown run by JV and Thomas was really set up by tight end Jack Andrews. You're going to see him come into your screen late. He seals the edge on defensive end Jimmy Scott. And that's what creates the big hole outside for Thomas. First and 10 for Pitt. And a handoff. That might have been a face mask. Now only seven of the officials saw that. He has been awesome. They're going to fake a pitch to Reed, and Holstein will have the ball pop out. It's on the ground, and one of his offensive linemen falls on the ball. The ball, I think, just flew out of his hand. David Reese maybe knocked it out. And Taylor falling on that football. Pressure's going to come from the top of the screen. That's David Reese, finally healthy and back in the lineup. Missed the first couple. He's out for Cal, so you're right. He really needs to have a good game. Holstein now. Looked like a design run, and Holstein, who's got some real power, just a freshman, but he runs with purpose. Third down, Cal showed pressure, dropped out into zone. I expect them to bring pressure here on fourth down. They are going for it on fourth and five. Here comes the pressure. The throw caught it by Reed out over the middle. And a first down and more into Cal territory. That yeah, and I really like the play call by Cade Bell. Des Reed free releasing from the backfield, working on linebacker Cade. That's a mismatch. Great job finding that by the offensive coordinator and throw and catch by Eli Holstein. As good as Ulu Ave is, I don't know if there are many linebackers anywhere who can stay with Des Reed. Their only chance is to meet him at the line of scrimmage, collision him, and get him off course. That time, Ulu Ave wasn't able to do that. Quick throw, left side, and a cut, a spin, a first down. That's Kenny Johnson, his second catch in a row. He got eight. Holstein in the pocket. Holstein now trying to run, penalty flag thrown. He completes it right near the marker to his tight end Bartholomew, so it's going to depend on the flag. Holstein is a threat to run himself this part of the field. He will give it, though, to Reed, and Reed will see. Touchdown! made about the size of Des Reed. But there's one thing I know going into the sixth week of the season. Cal still needs to be able to run the ball. And they did so that first time. Mendoza takes a hit, delivers it. 
Man, he's taken a couple big hits. A gain of nine to Maven Anderson. Mendoza from the pocket throws into tight coverage and he completes it to Grizel. Another third and long conversion. Darius Callaway in the backfield now alongside Mendoza. He'll get the ball on second down. A nice run across the 40 out to about the 41. He got four close to five yards. Mendoza throws it very quickly out to the right side and then a hit at the 45 and Maven Anderson stopped a yard short. We'll see including some of our crew members who were biting their fingernails. Reed gets the carry and it breaks a tackle. Nice run for Des Reed to your point. He might be the littlest guy on the field. I think they're just going to see if Cal will jump off sides. No, they actually snapped it. It's an option. Holstein got stopped. How about that? Well, I don't know. They may have out thought themselves that time. Pitt looked to me like they were going to go to the end of the quarter. You got a big quarterback who can run on fourth and a half yard. They give it to Reed and there he goes. Reed. Nobody's going to catch him. 72 yards. Touchdown. Got to give some love to the big fellas up front. Right tackle and right guard. B.J. Williams, Ryan Bear. Watch the hole that they create up front for Des Reed. Des Reed, listen, one of the most dynamic playmakers in the entire country. The Swiss Army Knife, he can do it all. But that offensive line, their execution against a very good Cal defensive front on that fourth and short is why that touchdown run happened. This is an ACC conference game. Cal and Pitt. Hey, these two haven't met since 1966. Uh, first down completion to Isaiah Hunter, talented young wide receiver. The head coach put his headset back on. Second down and a yard and a little throw all the way across the field for a first down. Mikey Matthews, that play looked like something was not exactly right, and yet Mendoza converted anyway. Right around their own 40. Thomas empties the backfield. Mendoza throws it left and another catch for Matthews. Another good open field tackle though by Lynham already in the first half. They will fake it. Mendoza is going to run it and Mendoza won't get it. And they lead 14 to 6. Not great field position for the Panthers though. Daniel Carter in the game for the first time as a tailback and that was a nice run by Daniel Carter. Holstein hands the ball off straight ahead spin move great balance and Daniel Carter two runs and two very impressive runs 15 yards by left guard Jason Collier getting up to the second level up on Teddy Buchanan 58 yards Ben Sauls has not missed a kick all year this one on the way and it is good wow he stays perfect from 58. Sauls wants to get the stadium record, which is 59. He just tied it at 58. The penalty gives the Bears the conversion. Mendoza throws, and that one sort of bobbled, but then brought in by Endries, and he turns it upfield, gets a first down into pit territory. Converted some of those third and longs. It's hard to keep doing that as the game goes on. Mendoza throws back to Endries. A little misdirection, and he gets tripped up. And a penalty flag, I think, is going to be another one against the Bears. Rashad Battle. Rodgers trying to get the offense lined up properly. On second down, he's still in the game. And again, he's going to look to run, and Pitt saw that coming. He lost three yards. Lovelace and company. Great job on his first step coming off the edge. Got in the backfield, disruptive. Then you see Lovelace come in, George. Mendoza in the pocket, throws. Another one of those little tunnel screens. Brady turned it upfield and got stopped at the 21. Well short of a first down. and I, Just 50% on his kicks for the year. This one, plenty of leg and perfect. So the Bears do get points. It's
until halftime here in Pittsburgh. Panthers lead 17-9. Holstein throws it left side and the turn up field for a nice game. That didn't look like much bump field. I mean, it's not great field position. Mendoza on second down throws to Thomas out on the right flat trying to use that blocker and he got some positive yardage maybe five third down Mendoza throws and that one is caught wow a contested catch by Isaiah Hunter so now on first down Mendoza finds Matthews left side spins through that tackle and gets another Cal first down Undefeated Panthers, third and seven for the Golden Bears. Mendoza throws wide open Endries. First down and more. Pressure came. Mendoza found his guy. It's a first down into pit territory. So first and five for Cal. All three timeouts, 143 to go until halftime. Mendoza throws and finds his man. That's Grizel breaking to the sideline. Second and ten, Mendoza throws and that one blown up Anderson caught it and Jason Javon rather McIntyre and there's number seven making back-to-back -back plays not fooled for a second Mendoza looking right acting like he's going to throw a tunnel screen to the right side of the field McIntyre re Thomas alongside Mendoza here comes the pressure Mendoza did not throw it away and he'll take the sack Lovelace got there but going back to what caused all this, you're going to see a second-level pressure from Pitt. And if you know this Pitt formula, this is how this football team plays. Got to have its situations. They're going to bring pressure. Fernando Mendoza, whatever he does, he cannot take a sack in that moment. They were trying to hit a double move down the field. They probably hold Pittsburgh just to three points in that first half. So Cal will get the ball to start the second half. Thomas with a first down run. And a gain of close to five. It was such a strange sequence to finish. That's what led to the fourth down that went 70 plus yards. We need to dial those in. Stormy's sponsored now. Did you notice that? Big Hand time. off on second down. Callaway gets dropped for a loss. In six games, they've had 10 or more penalties. It's not just today. Mendoza's throw is caught. Nice job coming back to the ball by Jonathan Brady. They do. Mendoza gets rid of it. What a catch. Just a great catch for a no. A no. Well, the pit players saying no. Two big time plays in this game. Those two fourth down plays are the reason Pitt is ahead. Because otherwise Cal controlled much of that first half. First throw from Holstein complete to Kenny Johnson for a gain of six. Six to 13. Now Reed picking his way through. He'll get the first down for Pitt across the 30. Had a really quiet day. We've got to give a lot of credit to that Cal defense. This throw right there. That's a completion and another Pitt first down. Once again, Kenny Johnson. Good job finding the one-on-one -on -one matchup outside. Cal playing press bail technique. Jet Thomas back in the game. Fernando Mendoza and company inside their own 10. And Mendoza will go down. Got away from the first pass rusher, but not from Braylon Lovelace, who's having a big game. To disrupt Mendoza trying to push the football down the field. I'll tell you what, Pitt's defense, they've been playing with their hair on fire today. They're often unable to give their quarterback time. Hand off straight ahead. Thomas at least got out of the shadow of the goal line, got out to the nine to set up third down. Mendoza pressured and he gets sacked right near the goal line. I think he stayed out. Kyle Lewis got there almost to safety. Coordinator Randy Bates. You're going to see Kyle Lewis come from the left side of the screen. Does a phenomenal job with his speed and quickness. Nobody's in pass protection accounting for Kyle Lewis coming from the second level. Great job by the Panthers getting off the field and forcing a backed up punt. Well, that shows where this Cal football team is at mentally. And this crowd here in Pittsburgh is really getting into the football game now. Wilson gets it off quickly. We'll see. Johnson, return possible. Very possible to the 30. And that's where the Pitt offense will get the ball back. Sends Johnson in motion with Reed in the backfield alongside Holstein. Play fake. 
Holstein going deep into double coverage. Intercepted. Picked off. Williams all season. You just said it leads the country in interceptions. You're going to see Kenny Johnson up here, not on the same page with his quarterback. He sits down outside. Noel Williams bails. His quarterback and wide receiver not on the same page. Johnson sits it down. Holstein thinks he's going deep. Just throws it up for grabs. And Noel Williams, who's put together an All-American-esque season, makes the young quarter. Makes it a little more challenging. Students are here in big numbers today. Cal playing some defense against this explosive pit offense. Reed just got swallowed up. Young quarterback's going to have his medal tested. By far his toughest game of his young career. Throws across the middle. He's got a wide open man. And a cut up field all the way out to the 40. Kanate Mumfield. Reed shuffles out of the backfield. Holstein again looks middle. Now is going to scramble and push his way and get the first down. Wow. Great effort by Eli Holstein. Who knew all they had to do was tell one of their offensive linemen, just whoever has the ball, pick him up. Uluave couldn't get Holstein down, but his teammate Teddy Buchanan does. Big sack and a big loss. Type style to it. Up until today, he's been putting up a lot of points and numbers. Holstein intercepted again. Intercepted by Cam Sidney who hadn't played much. He's in the game now, and he comes up with a huge play. The Cal defense, another pick. Second interception of the second half. You're going to see Sidney play in the nickelback position for the Cal Bears. You mentioned it, Flem. Wasn't starting earlier in the game. Had to come in. Does a great job in zone coverage of keeping eyes on the quarterback. Eli Holstein tries throwing that football late across the middle. And when you're playing zone coverage and you have eyes on a quarterback, you cannot throw late, especially deep across the middle. Great play by the redshirt sophomore, Cam Sidney. And Lumagia Hearns committed all those penalties. Mendoza now is going to get sacked. Well, the offenses all of a sudden can't do anything on both sides. On their heels. Pitt's starting to gain the momentum. Teddy Buchanan coming from the second level. Cal also electing to bring number up half and make your coach have to decide if it's four down territory or not. Mendoza pressured again. Mendoza goes down again. Another one for Jimmy Scott. Even with the Cal penalty. For the Bears, their defense comes up with a pick and they can't do anything with it. Jimmy Scott is starting to take over this football game from the defensive end position. Six foot three, 216, 60 pounds, redshirt sophomore, making two monster plays on this last series. And you can see he's having some fun. Holstein back to pass near his goal line. Throws and it's caught by the tight end for a first down. Gavin Bartholomew, that's a big play for Pitt. Be smart with the football. Lean on your defense and special teams right now. So third and six. Holstein in the pocket. Throws across the middle and a huge hit. The tackle short of the line to gain by Craig Woodson. Without their star running back, got to find a way to protect the quarterback. Mendoza throws injuries wide open across the middle. More pressure came from Pitt, and Mendoza found him. That's a gain of 20. You're going to see Jack Endries at the tight end position, working in the middle of the field. Fernando Mendoza, this is where he's found a lot of success today. Just Pitt Panthers completely void the zone. Slowed up as the game's gone on. They will hand it off again to Thomas. Bounces it right side. Thomas will get dragged to the ground, but I think he got enough for the first down. Down eight with the clock winding down. Mendoza in the pocket. He's got plenty of time this time. Nowhere to go with the ball. Now he dumps it to Andres again. And the tight end on the move. First down and much more. Inside the 25, inside the 20 to the 19. Byron Cardwell, the third running back, is in. Maybe the fourth running back. Mendoza, little misdirection, and he throws and hits Andres. Touchdown! Another one for the tight end. 19 yards. The field. The Jack Andres bringing it in. Two point game here in Pittsburgh. Here against number 22, undefeated Pitt. And the kickoff will be taken at the five by Kenny Johnson. 
Returns it out to the 20 and breaks open. The kicker himself, Ryan Coe, got in on the tackle. A helmet flew off. So we got some pushing and shoving in the second half. Handoff, Reed straight ahead, and Reed gets out to the 35, gets five on first down. Uh, the ball came out at the end of the play. He's having by far his toughest game in his freshman year at Pitt. Back to pass. Throws, and that's a nice delivery. Then the turn up field by Williams for a Pitt first down. So now third and ten. Pitt's only one for nine on third down in the game. Holstein is going to try to run, and he'll get tackled. I don't know if it's officially a sack. Derek Wilkins got him to the ground. Well, it's definitely true. They've had a lot of experience in spots like this. A little trick play for Cal, and a nice play as their freshman receiver, Josiah Martin, gets seven on first down. 7.20 to go. Mendoza back to pass, throws middle, and caught again. Another one for the tight end, Jack Andrews, who's having a huge game. That's 15 more yards for him. So another conversion for the Bears. Thomas emptied the backfield. Mendoza scrambling, throws, and a nice catch coming back to the ball for Jonathan Brady. Andrews sneaks behind him. Thomas, straight ahead run, and Jet Thomas, he's taking some big hits in this game, but he got enough for a first down. Six minutes to go. Mendoza, that was just a busted play. Lost a yard. Jimmy Scott, another tackle for loss for him. Play fake. Mendoza will go down. Get sacked. Scott and Nick James. For the Pitt Panthers here in the afternoon, left side of your screen, Jimmy Scott, just relentless. Six. Inside the 40 at the 36. Well, hand it off, Cardwell sneaks through, and Cardwell with a tough run. That's his first carry, I think, of the game. Inside the 30, down to the 29. Under four minutes to go. Cardwell, another carry. Cardwell got close, and I do think he got the Cal first down. A look who's in at quarterback. It's Rodgers, not Mendoza. Thomas in the backfield. Rodgers keeps it. Rodgers runs and gets stopped. And so now Pitt's going to burn a timeout. A little bit of a high snap. A low kick and no good. And the clock got set back to 146. Holstein dropped the ball. And now he gets sacked back at the 20. So he dropped that snap and ends up taking a four-yard loss. Lyndon Cooper at center. Who takes the snap. They're going to throw it. Amazing. They throw it across the middle. It is complete. But Cal gets the stop well short. Ball snapped. Mendoza steps up, and he throws. It's going to be tackled short. Starling with the catch, but Rashad Battle with the open field tackle. Pat Narduzzi, Justin Wilcox meet near midfield. Final seconds tick off the clock. The Pitt Panthers are undefeated 6-0. A hard-fought, tough guy. 17-15 win.